Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. This is a 62-year-old male with complaints of hand pain. It's most pronounced on the ulnar aspect of the hand and pain also in the fourth and fifth digits. And on this view, we see a finding that may explain this. This is a coronal view, by the way. This is the thumb to get oriented. This is the fifth digit, fourth digit, third, and here's the index finger here. And if we get down into the wrist area, which is down here, we see that there is along the palmar margin, the flexor tendons that go out to the digits. If we keep going down more palmar, we see this squiggly thing here. This is an artery called the ulnar artery, and this is going over the hook of the hamate bone. The hook is about right here, and just distal to that, we see this section that looks like it's a coiled vessel. It looks like a corkscrew appearance. And this is the ulnar artery. Normally, this is straight going across here, but when it gets curved like this, we think that this may be related to an injury from repetitive microtrauma of this artery. And people who play certain sports like tennis or handball, they can have direct repetitive impaction of this area. Sometimes uh, jobs like machinists or auto mechanics, machinists, people who do jackhammering, even bakers, bricklayers, all sorts of activities that cause pressure over this part of the hypothenar region. This is called the thenar area. This is called the hypothenar area. So again, when you have repetitive microtrauma from a job or sport over this area, this artery that goes right through there can be injured. And when it's injured, it can either thrombose, just become occluded, or it can become irregular like this and look like a corkscrew, or sometimes it'll develop an aneurysm. And when it does, there can be limited blood flow from here out to the fourth and fifth digits, and we call this hypothenar hammer syndrome. And these patients will have pain, cold sensitivity, paresthesias in this region around where they have the arterial problem, and also in these fingers, because distal to this, the blood flow may be very limited, and their fingers get cold and have paresthesias. So when you see a blood vessel that's tortuous in here, this may be the ulnar artery, and again, it could be tortuous, could have an aneurysm, or just be occluded. If we see that and have the right clinical symptoms, we call it, again, hypothenar hammer syndrome. And they'll need to have an angiogram or a CTA where we'll look at these blood vessels better and watch them go off. And often we'll be able to see that the blood supply is lacking to the fourth and fifth digits. We'll be able to see this corkscrew appearance better and see if there's a level of occlusion. And sometimes they can just treat this conservatively by having to wear gloves or stop the activity if things aren't too bad. And if things are pretty bad, they may have to go and just resect this um, area here where the blood is not passing very great through it. And they can just uh, bypass that and make a nice straight blood vessel, and that can solve the problem as well. Now we can see this on another view here, this little tangle of blood vessels right here. This is where it has that corkscrew. And we'll put up one more view here from the side. This is called a sagittal view. On the sagittal view here, we have the same thing where we see this one, two, three dots. These are just the same blood vessel that is, has a corkscrew appearance. And that's it, a case of possible hypothenar hammer syndrome.